on a Reedsville road where people can choose to go any direction. It's not what you usually hear. Things on some streets are going downhill quickly. People are taking this seriously. This is not a joke. Homes, cars, street signs, all tagged with what Reedsville police are calling gang graffiti. Well, it was about two foot high and about a foot long. Someone spray painted Linda French's car on both sides. Right there. She says in her neighborhood, the feeling of safety is slipping away. It's Wentworth Street. We have people wandering up down the street all hours of the night. And our police do what they can, but they can't be everywhere. It's not surprising that it, it happens, but it's surprising that it actually happened right here because I've never seen anything like this, and I've been up here for a while. Vandals also hit James Price's Duke sign, the side of his house, and his grandmother's car, along with other houses and cars on four different streets. They don't have no respect for other people's stuff. Neighbors say at first they weren't sure whether this vandalism was something they should take seriously or just some sort of joke. But police say anytime they have graffiti involving the words gang or blood, they have to take it seriously. And this is what they're investigating as real gang threats. In this police photo, vandals spray painted one SUV with the words killer, BG, blood, and gang. When I hear gangs, I think about big cities, not small towns. Melissa Benfield works in her mom's house during the day. Yeah, you can see where the paint was. Yeah. She can't believe there could be gangs in Reedsville. I remember as a child, the street used to be really safe, but now it's scary to walk from the door to my vehicle at night. Reedsville police say people need to pay attention to warning signs. People here just want it all to stop. I just hope it doesn't happen again. In Reedsville, Carter Coyle, Fox 8 News.